Well, my name is Eric J. Garcia. I'm a visual artist specializing in history and politics. Here in the gallery of the Roswell Museum where my exhibition, Space Invaders, is now on display. The term uh, alien, when, I, when I'm using it, I'm trying to give a twist on, on, the, on who is from the Americas and who is not from the Americas, a, a, an indigenous perspective. So if, if we go back to 1492, the first alien abduction happened when Columbus came and, and stole some indigenous people and took them back to Spain. The colonists were aliens to the Americas. I want people to understand that, that they were the alien invasion that actually happened. Roswell's known for a, a crash landing of aliens perhaps exploring or invading this area, but there's no actual evidence. In the Roswell Museum, there's actual alien artifacts that are within the gallery space here. We have conquistador helmets, we have United States cavalry uniforms, we have actual alien artifacts. So the ink that I've been using recently for this exhibition is uh, an ink created from the tuna, the prickly pear fruit from the nopal cactus. And I was using this ink to be a counter narrative to uh, the theme of alien. So I wanted to create an, uh, an ink or a process that was native or indigenous that was from here, from the land that, I, that, that I'm working in. So I created this ink to make these drawings, these paintings. So the piece behind me um, is an amalgamish of all kinds of different art historical uh, references, Chicano history, comic books, pop culture, satire, all mixed into one that relays this understanding or misunderstanding of the conquest of Mexico to give a new perspective of how this very important moment in time when Montezuma and Cortez met there in Tenochtitlan. Uh, first and foremost, Malatzin is at center. There's many different depictions of the meeting of Cortez and, and Montezuma. She was Hernan Cortez's interpreter, but she was also his negotiator. She knew the, the local culture and customs. Uh, Cortez is, is, is portrayed as the Geiger alien from the movie Alien. And, and he's communicating with King Charles V, who is represented now as the Marvel supervillain Galacticus, the world devourer. My military experience had a huge impact on how I understand uh, the United States and its presence globally. Uh, I was stationed overseas for three years, so I understood how, how dominant the military present is in other countries. When I, when I use that phrase, I am the colonized and the colonizer, I'm talking about my lineage as a, as a Chicano, right? So I'm a descendant of a mixture of people, some the Spanish conquistadors and the indigenous uh, people that they conquered. My artwork's meant to provoke discussion, it's meant to teach issues, it's, it's meant as a, as a tool but also as a weapon. For others who have opposite points of view, hopefully it, it pisses you off. <laughs>